Hi guys, this is Farts and welcome back to Farts Low Z. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit an outdoor portrait and also how to color grade the outdoor portrait. So, let's get started. Okay, uh, I will color grade and edit this picture today. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, this is a little bit distracting. I want to fill with the uh, lips on this area. Uh, so for this create a new layer and uh, select the clone stamp tool and here make sure you have selected the all layers or current and below okay and now press and hold alt and click and select the source area okay let's make it a little bit bigger not too much and now paste select the source area and just paste on the area you want okay i think yeah it looks fine i think now it's fine let's see the v4 and after look at this this was the v4 look at this area Ah, uh, it's now it's like this so I think this is fine okay and now I want to color grade this picture in camera raw okay let's create another layer by pressing shift plus ctrl plus alter plus E so this is the new layer and now uh, convert it to a smart object and then open it on camera raw filter Okay, uh, you can see the before and after by pressing Q. So this was the before, this is the before and this is after. Okay, now come into the basics option. And I have to decrease the temperature just a little, minus five for temperature and minus 10 for tint. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I have to increase the exposure just a little, plus 0 0.1, okay, and minus 65 for highlights that's fine and 36 for shadows and i to increase the highlights i think oh sorry i to increase the whites so plus 12 for white that's perfect and decrease the black minus 5 for black and i'm giving 21 uh, for clarity and 16 for the has that's fine and increase the vibrance so plus 5 for vibrance and plus 10 for saturation look at this the picture is now more saturated uh, look at the color look at the skin color it looks more natural now and now coming to the curves option and here i want to give a little bit faded color uh, so Okay, I will use curb later. For now, just go to the detail option and increase the sharpness. Plus 25, around 25 for sharpness, that's fine. And now come into the color mixer option. And come into the hue. And here I'm giving plus five for reds. And then minus five for orange. And then Look at the skin color. I'm giving minus 55 for yellow to give a little bit orange ish color in the skin. That's fine. And now come into the green option and look at the green now. I love this color. It's really beautiful. So I'm giving around minus 85 in case of green. And then look at the green. Wow. So I'm giving uh, minus 45 for aquas and then minus 15 for blues. That's fine. Now coming to the saturation option. And I have to decrease the reds. Here I'm giving around minus 20 and then I'm giving plus minus 12 for orange. I have to decrease the yellow also. So I'm giving minus 31 for yellows. And I want to increase the greens to pop up the colors. Uh, so here I'm giving plus 50 
for green. And then uh, plus 20 for aquas. And minus 37 for blues. Now coming to the luminance option and I want to increase the reds. So I'm giving plus 45 for reds. Then minus 12 for orange. And then 50 for yellows. And the last one plus 22 for blues. That's fine. And now come into the color grading option and here come into the shadows. And in the shadows, I want to give, let's see, I think maybe this color, let's see, 290 in case of hue. Let's decrease the saturation cause it's too much, okay. So I'm giving plus 10 for saturation and plus 100 for blending and plus 100 for balance. Look at this. It looks really beautiful now. It's perfect. Okay, that's fine. It's done. Now coming to the effects option and I want to add some grain. So here I'm giving plus 18 for grain. And 25 for size, I think it's fine. And 50 for roughness, that's okay. And I to add some vignette effects. So I'm giving around minus 15 or minus 18 maybe. Yeah, it's fine. Now coming to the last option, camera calibration. And here I'm giving, let's see. Okay, I'll leave it. Coming to the red primary option. And I'm giving 15 in case of you and 15 for saturation also. And then come to the green primary and I'm giving minus 10 for hue. And the last one, blue primary. I'm giving minus three for hue and then plus 15 for saturation. It's done and the last one, the curves. Okay, want to add some faded effect with a dark uh, moody effect so Click on this point and bring it to the up. I think this is fine. And now create another point. I think, yeah, it's fine, but it's too dark, okay. So create another point here. I think now it looks better. The subject looks fine now. Okay, look at this. It looks better, right? So I'm going with this. That's fine. So look at this before and after. Look at this before and after. It's look uh, more prominent, more colorful. The subject, the skin looks fine. So I'm going with this. Now press OK when you are done. So this was the before and this is after. Look at the flowers. It looks really good. Okay, now I want to add some uh, dolls and barn effects. So for this, I want to use a action. It's a simple action. Very simple action, just two curves. This one for darken, the barn effect, and this one for dolls effect. And then just create a negative mask. Okay, uh, select the dolls mask and just zoom in and pick a white brush and always use the low flow hardness zero percent okay that's fine and now just add some shine on your photo like this Let's use two here. Look at this before 
and after it adds some shine So hide the black and white layer and see the V4 and after. Look at this. This was the V4 and this is after. It looks fine. Okay. Add some shine on the hands too. So let's see the V4 and after look at this. This is the V4 and this is after. Okay. Let's zoom out and see the V4 and after. It looks great. Okay. Now I want to add some scratch and dust on the picture. Uh, it's not mandatory. Uh, if you want or if you like, you can add. Okay. Okay. Let's reposition it. That's fine. Change the blending mode to screen to hide the black of black portion. That's fine. Look at this. I want to remove this part. So create a mask and just oops paint with the black brush. Like this. Okay, that's gone. So you can see some uh, dust here and there. Okay, you can increase it by pressing Ctrl and J and copy the layer and then you can just increase the dust a little bit it's that's fine okay so the editing is done okay let's see the v4 and after look at this this was the v4 look at this picture and this is after it looks really great. It's very easy tutorial, very simple tutorial. So I hope you will love this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe.